Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. In this one we are going fabric shopping at the Creative Craft Show at West Point in Exeter. I went last Saturday with my mum and my daughter and we had the best day. It was so, so nice. It's a lot more relaxed and smaller than the London shows as well. So we really felt like we got to see everything. We picked up some gorgeous fabrics, did lots of browsing. <laughs> There were some really great fabric stores there. A few of my favorites like Stitch Fabrics and Higgs and & Higgs and Fabrics Galore. And there was so much other stuff to see and do as well. It's a really great day out. So if you're local to the Southwest, I would really, really recommend going if you get an opportunity. But anyway, I'm gonna show you around the show and then I will show you what I got because I did pick up a few fabrics, even though I wasn't planning on buying anything because I haven't really been sewing that much at the moment but I just could not resist. And actually I'm feeling a lot more inspired having been to the show. We're here. As soon as we arrived, I spotted instantly the Stitch Fabric store, so we made a beeline for this one. They do the most incredible ex-designer prints, linens, wools, everything you could hope for, silks. There's always something really, really special at the store. absolutely loved this fabric. The print was so, so different, but it was a twill, so I thought it was a little bit heavy for what I had in mind. These are all the incredible linen prints. All the florals, they're amazing. I love this abstract one, it was so different. And this one had some really gorgeous colors in the florals. This fabric here was love at first sight for me. The colors are absolutely incredible and the quality of the linen is amazing. They also had some really fun wools here. I loved the print of this one and this was amazing quality and only 10 pounds a meter. We then headed on around the corner to Thimbles Fabrics and Crafts. They had some really beautiful embroidery on glazes here and trims, loads of quilting fabrics too, and it was all super, super cheap. really good selection of printed jerseys here from really funky animal prints to really beautiful classic florals. I could have spent hours looking at these trims. Have you ever seen anything this spectacular? I really wanted to get some, but I was just so overwhelmed by the amount of choice. This black was one of my favorites, but I really couldn't decide in the end because they were all so incredible and at such a good price too. recognize this sparkle immediately. These are the fabrics that I used to create my Beyonce outfit and a couple of outfits for Glastonbury Festival back in the summer. They're so sparkly, so glam. I loved this green. I thought it'd be so perfect for a Christmas party outfit. Our next 
Next up was the Lady McElroy stall. I had a look at these fabrics at the Stitch Festival, but it was so, so busy. I couldn't really get a proper look. So it was really great to be able to browse. They had some of their most popular prints there and some that I'd never seen before as well. This was my favorite print that I spotted on this stall. I absolutely loved it. It's so different and I thought it'd be perfect for an autumn dress. The dark green was my favorite, but I loved these other bold colors that it came in as well. They had a really good selection of remnants here as well. I absolutely loved this green animal print one. I thought it would make the coolest shirt for summer. How gorgeous is this hydrangea print cotton? I am totally ordering some of this for next summer. Right at the back, I found these two amazing wool fabrics. The texture was so cool and I loved this one. It had a little bit of sparkle in it. We found a furry friend on the way round, so we stopped for a cuddle. Just round the corner was the Higgs and Higgs stall. I absolutely loved these quilted, double-sided fabrics. I very nearly picked this one up, but I just couldn't think how I would style it if I made a jacket out of it. Higgs and Higgs core fabrics are such great quality. Their double gauzes are super, super soft. They've got some really lovely washed linens in loads of colors as well, and denims too. whole selection of the cable knits with them at this show and I was admiring all of the different colors that they had. I've got a jumper in this and it is so so soft. The quality is amazing. This pink was my favorite. I also had a little rummage through their remnants box. There were some real gems in here. Next up, we headed to the Lily Fabrics stand. I love this one. We visit them at every single show we go to because they always have the most amazing viscose prints and they are so cheap at 4 dollars a metre. This was my favourite one. I might have picked this up. I loved this one too and really, really regret not picking this up. They had it in another colourway, but I thought this was a bit too bold for me. They also had a really great selection of William Morris print cottons. These would be so, so great for home furnishings. In the corner, we spotted these amazing walls. I fell absolutely head over heels for this one. The color is just incredible. And the lavender was so cute too. This was really sweet and really soft. I was very, very tempted. We then stopped for a browse at Doughty's. They mainly sell quilting fabrics here and my mum is really into quilting, so we had a little look through. They had some really gorgeous Liberty prints here, all £10 a metre, such good value. But as a dressmaker, they were the wrong sort of weight for me, which was such a shame because the prints were so, so cute.
Next up, we found the Fabrics Galore stand. So we had a little look through all of their gorgeous fabrics. They had these really sweet floral print cotton fabrics, all eight pounds a meter, such good quality and good value. They also had a really good selection of cotton lawns and viscose prints as well, which would be perfect for autumn dresses. Lastly, we stopped at the Janome stand for a browse. I'm looking to upgrade my machine, hopefully next year, so it was nice to see them all in person. Wouldn't these make great birthday presents? <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed looking around the with me. I had such a good day and we got to see so many beautiful fabrics. The only thing I would say was I went wanting some haberdashery stuff. I was looking for some diamante trims and some laces and zips and things like that. And there wasn't a great selection of those sorts of things, but for fabric, it was brilliant. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna start off with the most seasonally inappropriate thing <laughs> that I could have picked up, which is, <laughs> I told you, um, this gorgeous X designer linen from Stitch Fabrics. I know this is not the right time of year to be buying this sort of fabric, but I will save it for next summer. And it's so different to anything that I've ever seen and the colors are gorgeous. I just thought for a statement summer dress, this is gonna be incredible. It's a little bit sheer, but not too much. So if I went with a really gathered dress, then I think I could get away with not lining it. Um, I think I got nearly three meters or maybe a little bit more because there was a join in the middle. So he gave me a bit extra and it was 15 pounds a meter as well, which is a really, really good price for X designer linen of this quality. I'm so chuffed with this one. Next up, another fabric from Stitch Fabrics. Um, this one I saw on my way out actually, and I was torn between two that were quite similar. The other one was more of a full tie-dye effect, whereas this is sort of like an abstract tie-dye dragonfly print. And I thought this was fabulous. This print is so unique and different. And although this is a polyester satin, it is really gorgeous quality as well. It's got a fabulous drape and the colors are just gorgeous. Perfect for autumn. I don't normally look good in yellows, but I can kind of get away with this goldy shade when it's mixed in with stuff. So I snapped this up because there was only three meters left on the roll. So I bought the lot, I had to have it. I have got a Zimmerman dress saved in my inspiration. And although the print of that dress is very different to this, I love the idea of the heart-shaped buttons. I thought I could do dragonfly or butterfly buttons with this one. And it was a really good price as well. I think I paid eight pound a meter for this one. I only got two more bits because like I said earlier, I didn't really go looking for any fabrics in particular, but this is from Lily Fabrics. Um, it said on the sign that it was a viscose, but it feels a little bit more polyester than a viscose, I would say. But I love, love, love this print and it was four pound a meter, so can't really go wrong. This is going to make such a gorgeous autumn dress. I got three and a half meters so I can do something super tiered and super floaty, because as you can see, it's really, really lightweight and drapey, it's perfect. I'm not sure what pattern I'll do yet. I might do the M7973 because I've done quite a few versions of that and I wear them all the time in the autumn. So I might do another one of those, but with a super tiered skirt. I'll see how I get on. Last, but certainly not least, because I think this might have been my favorite purchase from the whole show is this gorgeous wool from Lily Fabrics. Again, the color is just sensational. I really wanted to make a statement coat this winter. I know I still haven't finished my coat from last winter, but I mean, hopefully I will, and then I can get straight into making it this one because this color is so gorgeous. I really feel like this is my color as well. It'll look really nice with black. It'll look nice with browns. 
um, beiges, all those kind of muted autumn tones, um, but it will add the most gorgeous pop of colour. So I'm thinking of doing the Nomi 2001 coat with this. I just think it will be so perfect because that's a real statement coat and obviously this is a statement colour as well. So those could be a really good match. And then I'm going to do some sort of fun lining in it as well. I mean, with this fabric, you could definitely get away with doing it unlined and just binding the seams. This was, I think, around 14 pounds a meter. I can't exactly remember. And my mum picked up the lilac shade of this as well, which I'm kind of wishing I got as well now because <laughs> it was really cute. But this is lovely quality. I love the kind of boucle effect of it as well. It will wash and wear really well. Super, super fun. So I really hope you liked everything that I picked up at the show. If you did spot anything that you like, definitely screenshot it from my YouTube video and send it either to the company's Instagram pages or email them because I'm sure they would be able to sort out some sort of online order for you so you don't completely miss out because there were some really, really beautiful bits in there. If you did enjoy today's video, please do subscribe because I've got another very similar one coming up soon where I go fabric shopping at Liberties in London. But that's everything from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.